Hello, I'm Marcin Konieczny and I am a participant of Summer of HPC in Ljubljana. In this video I want to tell you about my project, which is based on Armadoop and clustering algorithms. Data production has increased sharply for several years. About 100 million spam messages and 16 million text messages are sent every minute. Every day we create 2.5 quantillion bytes of data. I work on radiation measurement dataset provided by SafeGast. It is a global volunteer-centered citizen science project working to empower people with data about their environments. The data consists of 90 million of measurements. In the dataset we can find such data as coordinates, radiation values and units, or date. My goal was to develop our Hadoop scripts for automatic storing, reprocessing and visualizing big data. There are many units describing the radioactivity. In my examples, I will use sievert unit. Exposure to 100 millisieverts a year is the lowest level at which any increase in cancer is clearly evident. For my task, I had a chance to use high-performance computer at the University of Ljubljana. HPC nodes contain 12 or 24 cores. I was using RStudio software arranged to work with Hadoop. We can run jobs on cluster directly from the website where RStudio is able to use HPC resources. I wanted to talk about Hadoop outside, but maybe we could just move back to the class again. Hadoop main component is a name node, a master server that manages the file system namespace and regulates access to the files by clients. There is a number of data nodes, usually one per node in the cluster, which manage storage. With every data node, there are several associated cores from Rescue Manager called Yarn for computing purposes. All files are split into blocks, which are stored in data nodes. Another important thing in Hadoop is replication number, which refers to number of copies of particular block in distributed file system. The higher replication number is, the faster software can work in parallel on one block of file. Of course, if the number of cores allows to it. Now, produce programming paradigm is important part of Hadoop processing. Here is the simple example. Map part counts occurrences. Shuffle provides correct data to the reducer, which returns maximum value of the input. I used Kamin's clustering algorithm to search for coordinates that are close to each other. In each iteration, it calculates new centroid based on mean coordinates value of his representants. After stop condition, it returns last centroid value and the size of the each cluster. Let's start with a simple example. I have loaded 2 million of radiation measurements. Cores of points refer to logarithmic scale. I have converted CPM values to microsieverts. Every map function returns 100 clusters. Reducer joins them all and puts on the map. Let's check FX with all of 90 million of measurements. Noticeable changes on the map are only possible with a very small range of CPM value. That's why I don't put all the data on the map at the same time. In Europe, values of CPM are usually from 0 to 150. Filtering values with higher radiation level allows to see measurements taken from planes. They are usually higher than radiation from the Earth because of the influence of the cosmic radiation. Camus is sensitive for outliers, what is shown on the example. One of devices has uploaded many of high measurements values. In result, Cummins detected here cluster with very large radiation value. There are several places where the radiation level keeps always high, especially near the damaged nuclear plants areas like Fukushima or Chernobyl.